So in this video I'm going to show you how to make the joystick holder. Um, we're going to start by drawing a box and I'm going to draw it in two ways for you. Uh, the first way is the simplest way and that is to create a box. This is going to be the base and I can choose where I'm going to draw that box. I'm going to draw it on the base which is there. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to drag this to be the exact dimensions that you require or that I require. Um, however, I can drag it or I can key it in. So let's say that is 23 centimeters. I press tab and I believe that was 22 centimeters wide and then press return. Now and that was me pushing the middle mouse button and uh, moving it around. I can now uh, do the thickness or the height of the box. And I believe that was 12 mil if you don't do anything to it. Um, and if you look here in the little instructions, it will actually give you the dimensions you're using. So you can change those here. And it's a new body. And it's important to see that that's a new body as opposed to anything else. And we'll ex uh, I'll show you why later. Okay, so this is the first box. Um, the other way of drawing a box is to create a sketch and say where you're going to draw that sketch. So I'm going to draw that sketch on this plane. It seems a bit more complicated because the camera moves around. Do a rectangle and draw the rectangle. Let's keep it the same, so 230. I can't even remember what I did now, 22, press enter, and then I'm going to finish my sketch. So what we did here is we created a box, and then adjusted it, and what I'm doing here is I'm creating a sketch, and then I'm going to make this into a box. So here you go, press pull, click that, and drag it up by 12. So they're pretty much identical, uh, it's just this one was a bit more simple. The reason why I did this is because we are actually going to have to sketch on here anyway. Um, let's say you've got the ashtray part. So here, I'm going to select the face. You could have done it on this one. Select the face. Right click. Create the sketch. And now what you're going to do is draw your rectangle. And you're going to draw what the ashtray looks like. So from above. So there's the ashtray. It's snapping, unfortunately. If it snaps, you can actually go here and unclick snap to grid. <sighs> <Dear. clears throat> Let's start again. So re R for rectangle. And draw that the size you want. And finish the sketch. And now what I'm going to do if you remember, I push pulled it. That was me pulling. This time I'm going to push it. So click that one again, push and sink it down. And that is going to be minus three millimeters. Okay, so if I hold shift and middle mouse button, instead of panning, if I hold shift and do it, then it moves it around. The alternative way of doing that is to grab the cube and move it. Sometimes your cube doesn't seem to work. So if you zoom in and out on the cube, it sometimes works. I can do it here as well, do exactly the same thing. Um, this way, I'm going to show you a different way. So, let's say you're only using boxes. This is a way that we do it in Tinkercad. I'm going to draw a box. I'm drawing in a different way now. Okay, so there's the box. This is the Tinkercad way. I'm going to move this body across like that and into it. So just, and you'll see it starts going crossing the line. And if I look here, I can see a different version of it. And I'm going to OK that. Now I'm going to subtract this side from the other side. So to do that, I'm going to combine. 
The target is that. That's the thing that I want to subtract from. The tool is this. This is the thing that I'm using to subtract. And instead of join, I'm going to cut and delete. So that's a different way of doing things. One is making lots of things in blocks and subtracting them like in Tinkercad. Or the other way is to actually draw things and create them from a flat 2D drawing. Okay, well let's try and make this a bit round. So here we've got the fillet. You can find fillet is here or you can press F. And to fill it, I'm going to select the lines that I want to fill it. And if I just type in, I can actually do this by dragging the handle, as you can see, or I can key in the number. Obviously, if you key in the number, it's more accurate. So if I just key in four, that'll do me. Okay, so that's how you draw your ashtray. And of course, you've got the video, so you can play that and pause it. All right, the next thing was to draw a line across here so that I can make the metal part. The easiest way for me is to click the surface I want to draw on, or I want the line, the cut to appear on. Right click, create sketch, press R for rectangle again. This time I am going to snap to make my life easier. And I'm going to draw that line like that. Now that's one mil, which is fine. The metal you're using for the aluminium will be 0.8, so one mil gives you a little bit of space for glue. And if I finish that sketch, it's always important to finish the sketch, otherwise it doesn't work. And press pull, I can just drop that in, you see. Um, let's go minus... Actually, minus 8 was pretty good. Oh, that was silly, wasn't it? Let's do that again, so we go here there and go minus 0.8 sorry it's not 0.8 is it it's eight millimeters minus eight can you, can you see it says cut now that means that it's going to dig away if it was joined then nothing would happen and if it was new body then i'd be creating a rectangle uh, a rectangle solid inside this solid that i could then later move and there's your cut okay now, you probably know how to do it with that one. I'm not going to bother, but that's drawing the rectangle, combining it and subtracting it, and actually that takes longer. Which is why, if you're good at Tinkercad, that's great, but if, if you're good at Fusion, you're a lot quicker. Okay, this is pretty much it. Um, I do want to make a hole here for the, the actual joystick itself. So what I'm going to do now is the Tinkercad way. I'm going to make the joystick, and then I'm going to put it in and take one from the other and that will give me the exact size hole at a nice angle so I'm going to create a cylinder um, I wish it wouldn't do this very complicated I'm going to do it there that's just telling the computer exactly where I want to draw it I believe if you measure it it's about 2.5 millimeters and it's quite long so let's pretend that is the, the joystick okay it's actually longer we can do that all right it's a new body remember if you had a look at there you can pause it rewind you'll see reverse you see that now remember how i moved that body another way to move a body is to click the body there right click and move and now these handles are the angle handles so what I'm going to do is move that around so it's got the angle I want and of course that's up to you shift that around have a look at the front move that directly across and you want it right in the middle And it hasn't joined it, 
but it has made it look like it's joined and we're just going to leave that there for now these are two separate bodies now this body here I don't want to actually see it so I'm going to hide it okay but later on if you're only hiding bodies you're going to see them again when we do the measurement so the best way to remove that is actually right click and remove don't delete it deleting is a bit of a problem so we're just going to remove it now uh, let's do the metal part now my metal part is going to be a curved shape like this and I'm going to do that by sketching it so the best way to draw that is not from above if I drew it from above you would only see a rectangle the best way to draw that is from the side okay so that's going to go across like that so if I click that right click create sketch then what I've done is I've told fusion that I want to draw a new shape and I want to draw it on this side so now what I can do is press L for line or click that I want the metal to start there so let's go here click click and now if I click and then hold it I can actually get a curve and that's my line there now if I hide that body you can see that's the shape I want so I'm actually going to press the letter O which is this one here and that's some um, offset click this and I said it was 0.8 mil so 0.8 mil and enter and now you can see I've got two lines parallel um, and or almost parallel and what I've got is um, the two sides of the metal now I need to press L again and join these lines up otherwise it won't be a solid so one there one there zoom out and one line here and one line here now as soon as I join it it will go blue or the solid color that's blue that means I can now do stuff to it so let's finish that sketch that's done let's go home I'm gonna make this body reappear so I can see it and I'm going to press pull the metal now take your time doing this because there's a trick so you can see it's going red I don't want it to go red that means cutting I want I don't want to join it because then it will be wood because this shape will be joined to the wood base and therefore it will be the same material so I want a new body okay and then I'm gonna go okay now good thing about having a new body is I can move it around uh, as in move this up and across now I don't actually want the joystick but I want the hole and the angles that the joystick uses so to do that as you remember combine the target is this one can I add another target no can only add one target right now I've messed it up so the target is let's start hey the target is the wood for now and the tool is this okay but I want this to also cut that so I'm gonna keep the tool for now keep the tool and okay right let's just hide that body there let's do this one here so combine the target is now the metal the tool is the joystick and I don't need to keep the tool anymore unless I want to make it look cool but that's something else um, we're gonna leave that cut and do that so now if I have a look around you can actually see that the hole isn't just a simple hole it's actually an angle and if I go here a visual style and go wireframe with hidden edges you'll be able to see well, you won't be able to see a thing um, you'll be able to should be able to see that that is at an angle okay and move that and there's why is it filling in I don't want it to fill in okay there that's better so now you can see that is in line with that okay so that's how you make your joystick holder in the next video I'm going to show you how to turn this into a, a drawing very easy uh, a very easy setup for the drawing that you can then communicate to the